everybody, nice and we are here again with another package from Adam Glam and I'm going to show you the colors I have a plan and I had a plan <laughs> and that was uh, a ugly sweater that I have or my actually my woolen underwear from Norway uh, it's a very popular brand of uh, underwear one of the colors from last year's collection was, let me show you, these colors. And you can see they have this sweater design, or knitting design as we call it. So we call this a rose. But I just wanted to show you what crazy colors it is, and dark colors in, in, in here with the with the dark and yeah, and, and the ugly, also the ugly, ugly sweaters also have greens in them so that's why I ordered greens and colors like this but I have a little feeling that my mind has changed because I had just sculpted really really thin really thin nails here or just tips actually it has been so so long since I have been encapsulating something in my nails so I'm dying to do it so I'm going to figure out something to encapsulate these ones in it's going to be hot I hope <laughs> so go let's go through the quickly go through the colors this is color me corally Oh, that is a color I have had before. It got exposed by the sun, so I ruined the brush and I ruined everything. It just got gooey. But this is so bright. Not like this. It is so bright on your nails. I This is one of my favorite colors, actually. I forgot that. And the raspberry explosion. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. I am. And... What's your type? That's an orange one, deep orange, dark orange, and this is the neon orange, blood orange. And then we have Dawn of Earth. I love this. This is this is like yeah, this is earth earth green color. I absolutely love this color. And this one, oh, this is so beautiful, deep emerald. This is so dark green that you can almost, it's almost black. It, oh, I love this color. In one thin, thin coat, you get a, a beautiful dark green color. With two coats, it is almost black. I love this. I love this green. I love all of these colors. <laughs> Let's move on with my design. And here I am on the voiceover. <clears throat> uh, yeah, as you can see, this is a full tutorial from the beginning with the sculpting of my nails. So I'm just showing you how I put on one of my sculpting forms um actually these forms are from e-nail couture system from max estrada and these are pre-cut on the sides so they actually can tuck underneath the nail sometimes i was a little bit sloppy here i should have filed down my nails a little bit more and yeah i made some mistakes that haunted me throughout the whole video or the whole design so dehydrating and the primer from ended and for the first time i am using a light elegance product um, together with the madame glam's products so i'm using the tech that is a bonder that has to be cured in a lamp for one minute i think it's one minute i'm not sure 30 second or one minute I yeah and um, I am using Ended's sculpting gel because I really really love it and it might 
say pinching gel in when you buy it but um, this is a, it's a self leveling gel but it do not flow all over it keeps its place so I really love this sculpting gel and there is no need to <laughs> you will see that uh, when when I'm a little bit longer out in the video you will see that I sculpted my left hand for nothing so I had to clip them off and start over again with a school project Pro project yes I am still in nail school and that is why I have been so missing from YouTube I am so so sorry I have missed you so and uh, yeah I, but I really 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 wanted to try these online classes and see if I can learn something and I have learned so much it's so fun so uh, yeah I, after the summer <laughs> I think I'm finished after the summer so then after the summer I will be fully concentrated on my YouTube channel again it's a long, long way, long, long way ahead, but I have actually done the online classes half year now, and I have less than half a year left, so I'm getting there. So I can see that I did so many mistakes with my form. <laughs> So the, I did not pinch it, I did not cut down my tip, uh, even though I have a, my hapenikinium is growing so far out that it is so painful to cut my own nails. But um, yeah, so that is the problem with gel. If you start with a lump, um, you will get a lump throughout all your layers and they will just get higher and higher and higher as you build up the nail so um, here I'm starting with the one step gel that is the gel you can use as a base gel a builder gel a top gel yeah all in one gel kind of and it's kind of thin uh, in texture but I am just uh, putting it on um, a thin layer on my nails because I'm going to have them on for a while and I also do that to file down these nails so I get that thin and really nice and flat surface to work on when you're building up your nails afterwards but I did some mistakes as I said so I got the uh, some lumps where my um, the tip of my free edge is so that was my mistake but uh, this is kind of the base after I have filed this and um, yeah oh I miss I miss working with my gels I have been working with acrylic for so long now and it's been such a long while, long time since I did this video for Madame Glam. And I have not put it out until now. So sorry. But I hope you will enjoy what I do with the colors. And I actually really love this design. And I love long nails. <laughs> but uh, the thing that you learn after you have worked with forms only forms in yeah for a long long time you get the f right feeling and you get some a teacher that picks on you all every time you do something wrong so so this video is i i can see so many mistakes <laughs> but it is so lovely to use my forms now and actually get that form I really want when I pull off my forms yeah that made no sense no sense in no sense no, no yeah, sorry 
is late here. <laughs> uh, well, I started uh, two coats uh, with <coughs> one of the uh, orangey red color. And here are some glitters that I glitter mix that I made myself. Really complicated, as you can see. <laughs> so I just uh, first put on the first or one, yeah, one step, first step gel, and um, cure the gel. No, cure, cure the glitter in the gel layer and then I encapsulate everything with the cool gel so um, and that is a lot thicker gel when you are doing the encapsulation so here I'm using deep emerald so I had to think and twist my brain to do a, a design since I was not going to do the sweater design that I had planned to get that green incorporated into these crazy bright colors but uh, uh, I saw Selena <laughs> Selena Ryden uh, I, this design is heavily inspired by her if you go back and see in August, September, you will see something that looks really fami familiar to this. So, sorry Selena, I just had to use something that, yeah, I, I loved that design she did. So, I just uh, took some uh, elements from it and she incorporated green with these bright colors. So here again I put the tacky layer with the one step and then I put on some foil soon and um, here and there and I also put on some large fish scale, mermaid scale that I got from Jennifer Nails by Jen uh, she had a YouTube channel a while ago I'm not sure if she's active she has a Facebook page but I'm not sure if she sell her glitter anymore but I have a ton of glitter from her and I used some of them here and I encapsulate that but I did something that I did not like. Um, I kind of encapsulated some some mushy grayish greenish stripes in there. So you will see that that will be gone soon. And I will do something else later. <laughs> I always do that. I always mess up a nail or two and do something new. Yeah. I have no idea why, but I do. It, it's just not working in my brain. Yeah. But this light elegance gel, oh, I love it. Oh, but here is the ombre. Uh, I actually think I pulled out uh, this uh, neon yellow orange light yellow orange. Uh, you have to go back because I do not remember the name um, or check in the description box but um, that is of course also Madame Glam's that one um, so I use that as an ombre and the thing that I was going to say no I can do the ombre when you do the ombre so go one direction first and wipe between every time you go down or up because or else you will just mm, yeah mess it up actually <laughs> you see i wipe my brush every time i stroke it down or stroke it stro stroke them up so um, two layers of that and curing in between of course 
I'm not telling you everything I'm curing because it's going so fast here. And putting on the one step to make the tacky layer again. So I can put on another, some other glitter mix from Nails by Jen. This is a beautiful orange mix with glitter, gold and yeah, mermaid shimmer and all. This is so lovely. It's a beautiful mix. But I only used a little, little, little bit. I contained myself on that level. You will see me splurge on another level later. <laughs> So um, I cure that before I put on the next layer of the cool gel. And the cool gel is of course a cool gel or a gel that you can put on in a big blob or a kind of a thick layer without having that horrible heat spike. So and it's also a thicker gel as I said. So um you can put on a lot more and control it better. So I like it and I love uh, these Light Elegance gels. They are so bright and so... They they are just so smooth and so bright. I, I, don't, I cannot remember I got any bubbles at all in my gel. And... Yeah, and here I, after curing the first layer, I'm putting on Madame Glam's art gel or what do you call it? Blooming gel and different kinds of names. Um, and just swirling some of the colors together. And the thing that I was going to say is the controversy of this video is that I put gel polish in between two hard hard gel layers. The bottom is hard and the middle is gel polish and the top is also hard gel. So a lot of technicians say that you cannot do that because that weakens the nail because you have a soft layer in between. Uh, I have done that so many times for actually years now and I have never had any problems so um, yeah and I, I can understand why they say it and I can understand, understand why they do not teach anyone to do that because I understand the chemistry behind it uh, but um, it's also allowed to do whatever you want to do, <laughs> especially on YouTube. <laughs> on YouTube, you can do whatever you want to, unless it uh, gets uh, blurred out. So uh, that is what I do, and I really love it because I can use all my gel polishes from Madame Graham and encapsulate them because they are so beautiful and I absolutely love to encapsulate glitter and everything else that I can find. And this is the thumb. Here I am using the already forgotten what that green was named called. And again uh, that was two layers and fast forward and again with the art gel or blooming gel and I just pull down these four colors into some stripes and it looked amazing. I am so horrified that you cannot see that on this uh, video. You cannot see how beautiful that thumb actually is because I really really love, loved how that turned out. Uh, it's so easy just to do some swirls down and I added some gold glitter and I really love it. I loved it so much that I covered <laughs> almost the whole thumb up again with, <laughs> with rhinestones. <laughs> Sorry. 
Yeah, that is me in a nutshell. If I see long nails that are really low, I bang on a lot of <laughs> rhinestones. And you will see how shiny these nails are. And I, you see, I have not even filed them yet. And here I have filed them and going into the art. I used um, a light elegance buttercream white. Uh, you can paint with it um, because it's so pigmented. But I should not have used that. Uh, I should have used um, a painting gel. Because the painting gel is a lot sharper and yeah, get get really yeah. Well, I get better lines with so. I just draw something, eh, nothing like a Selena, but uh, something eh, similar. <laughs> and here you can see that I took a brush dipped in acetone so I got more of a smoky effect with the white uh, this is also the buttercream but I as you can see I start to heavily put on some white here stripes here and there and um, you will just see afterwards that I have removed a lot of it again <laughs> so on to the bling I love the bling. I try to restrain myself. I was did really well on these four fingers, but on my thumb I kind of went crazy. And the top coat I'm using the um, shine. I have no idea what is what its name is. That shine <laughs> light elegance top coat. And it has a tacky layer when you're finished with it, so you have to wipe off the tacky layer. But it is super shiny and hard. This is a hard top coat and I love hard top coats because they are so shiny. So on my thumb I uh, took on some poly gel from Madame Glam because I was going to use some big rhinestones that was not flat back so I had to push them into that poly gel and I put the top coat over the poly gel so when I push those stone into that gooey gooey thing uh, when I cure it and uh, the stone will or the top coat will kind of grab onto the stones but that a long stone that you see on the top there that fall fell off during the night so and uh, not the best solution for me uh, I always stick to my own own way of putting on stones and that always works I never lose a stone when I do it my way but if I try any other way I lose stones so, yeah, should I should have stick to my own recipe. But I have to try. So here I put on heavily and some top coat on the other side. And then I am done. So, finished. So, I hope you like this, everybody. And check out Madame Glam. Go in and use my code if you just want to pay as you go. Or be a VIP member and get 50% of everything. So go in and check. And thank you everybody for watching. And I hope to see you again really soon. And give a thumbs up this video if you like it. Give it a comment and share and subscribe of course. And I will see you soon I hope. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.